Hi, uh, this is Tilak. Welcome back to our Fast Formula tutorial. Today we are going to continue with that parent child fast formula. The last session, actually, last previous two sessions, we were looking at that uh, how the fast formula calls are the fast formula. The first uh, session, I mean, the previous session was. Uh, was a, a formula calling that uh, formula very simple. The second one we looked at that how the different LDG is getting called, a child formula of different LDG is getting called by the parent fast formula. Today we look at that the third way of doing it that is basically a fast formula calling a different type of fast formula that supports different uh, context. That is very similar to what we saw last time. It is just a little extension of whatever we see that. You might have understood that whole concept in the last two sessions itself. Uh, but still we are going to look at that. Since we talked about in the introduction of uh, formula calling other formula with the different types, with the different uh, uh, context. So we are going to look at that today. Well. Let's see what are the types we are going to use it. Uh, we know that that we always use that uh, that uh, person selection or something else as the first type. So let's see what are the contexts used by the person selection first formula, the compensation person selection first formula. Let me go to compensation. Okay, again I'm telling that this application is not available in a public domain. Uh, it is my own application for me to analyze that entire fast formula of components. So it is not available. I am showing it because it is easier for me to sh visually show to you how these data are like, you know, related to each other. So it is not available. Okay. Compensation and person selection I'm talking about here. These are the basically effective start date compensation record. All these are available. So okay. now I am going. The business group is not here. Business group ID is not here. So I am going to look for a formula type that supports business group ID. Now how do I find one? Okay. Now I am deriving from context. So I look for the one like okay. Let me go business group ID. Business. Okay. I call the business group ID. Now let me go and check all the formula type that supports it. Okay, I can take age calculations. Now let's see the age calculation, what it supports. Okay, effective date, LC date, LC business group ID supported. Okay, we also support HR time ID, business group ID. This is already we are supporting all these things. Okay, plan ID, we don't support. Okay, now what we are going to do example of PGM ID, that's a program ID and the business group ID. These two, context we are going to support from, I mean, we are going to pass it from parent fast formula to child fast formula, though, which is not supported by us. Okay, now let's get into like developing a fast formula. Now I'm going to create the child fast formula. A fast formula name is TCS child FM. Like what we did in the last two sessions. I have deleted all the TCS child FR from different uh, LDGs so that I can create a new formula without LDG. Okay. The formula I'm going to use is formula type I'm going to use is age calculations. Okay. Age calculation that is from uh, benefit. No LDG, nothing like one, one, two thousand. Continue. Okay, just I copy paste the description first. Okay, here what I'm going to use, use is uh, a DBA called Ben BGM name. 
Okay, that uses three contexts that is BGM ID, effective date, and the business group ID. Okay, so that is okay. that's what I'm using a Ben BGM name. It is a symbol DBA, so default for uh, just a space and uh, empty one space string actually then i'm putting a debug statement getting it now i'm having a value this is what we are going to use it okay i'm going to use l date get context effective date okay nine zero and hundred zero zero one and we know it is a date so date okay i call the l date i'm going to get the lbg business group id get context i don't need to get all these things this is probably showing it how what kind of input is coming in okay business group id minus one and lbgm that is a program name get context that is called um, pgm id pgm id minus one okay I'm going to print that okay uh, okay I'm also creating one more variable called lbgm name that is nothing but that lbgm name so I call everything now I'm going to print all these things so rather than typing I just copy and paste from my sample code okay now I'm creating two carry LDIT LDIT lbg lbg lbgm this is like now and that lbgm name is the one word so what i do here is i just do that okay lbgm name lbgm name that is fine now i'm going to return the value okay so before that i just put a debug out with what's out is coming in our case value is n so it's always n okay there's nothing else no validation nothing all it does is it get that BGM name and that uses three contexts that is a date, business group ID, and BGM ID, and put it in the log, then it is coming out with no, nothing more simple. Now we are going to ch change that fair and fast formula so the business group ID and the BGM ID will be passed in as a context. Now this time what we are going to do here is we are going to call the child formula with a different method. We saw there is a two method works. One is execute. The other one is uh, call formula child FF. So this time what we are going to do here is call formula that is what we are going to do that we are going to use a call formula to call the tcs child okay okay now we get into the parent first formula and see that how do we change it okay well i'm getting into correction mode now let's see okay i'm making that Okay. Now up to here everything is fine. We don't worry about that. Now we don't need this part. So I'm leaving it for the timing. This. Okay. I'm leaving it. Then I'll remove it later. Okay. Now what I want to do there is I'm going to call that with a different method. Okay. 
The only thing is we are taking the variable into a LVAR, the water output. So just I in, just initialize it with something. Okay. I say that call formula. What is the formula? That is TCS child. That is the first parameter we are passing in. After that, the parameter can be in any order. Now, after that, we are either passing in parameter or out parameter. Okay, this depends on the, the arrow we are putting in. Okay. Now, we are putting that in parameter. Okay. Now, we are not doing it here like set input. Instead of that, the parameter will be passed, that value will be passed as a parameter. Now, what we are going to pass is a parameter like business group ID. Okay. I take the business group, I just copy that and just continue. Usually we do the parameter name first, then the value. In this case, they are doing it as a way around. Basically, they are sending the value to that, that uh, like context name or input value or a parameter name. So basically, this is that the name of that con like uh, input or context, uh, this is the value, okay. And that is the business group ID we are doing here. In most of your cases, the business group ID is one, but the database I am working has got a little different way of it is configured. So I'm putting my own business group ID. Okay, the same way here, you have to put a BGM ID, okay. If you can get the business group ID, if you can get that uh, BGM ID from that uh, some other context or like or some other uh, what do you call it um, uh, your DVA you can use that okay now we are coming to the output value okay what are we doing output value the output value we are passing other way around basically that is we are putting a variable name first then we are using that the, the the output variable which is coming from the child formula to here then we are telling a default value so this is that this the values hold the value from the child formula which will be assigned to l where that's the reason we define the l variable before we are using it within the function okay this is what exactly we are going to do here it is up to here so it is uh, coming a l default is x so i don't need up to here i'm taking it out okay then everything i need it this is what i'm doing here now i'm explaining again call formula this is a formula name this is that in parameters that set equivalent of set input we are using the value first then that the input variable name value first input variable name here okay here one more thing i'm doing here is since i'm using the effective date i just make sure the effective date is passed in here as i said in the previous variable whenever you are using something in the context in the child you make sure you are using it here effective date. It is not a minus one, this is in nine nine zero zero one zero one. Okay, that's it. End date we call the context of effective date. Everything is fine. We are saving it. So we are going to run it and we'll see the log how it works. I have already executed this one through the different one. I'll show you how the log is going to look. Uh, so there's no need of like going and executing it and doing it again. 
let me show you the lock. This is the lock. Basically, like you know what you are parent formula, person ID, entering the child formula. This is the date, the effective date which is passed in, which is basically I think it is the current date. Then the business group ID be passed in, then the program ID be passed in. It is automatically bringing the program name. Okay, then it is going out. Okay, entering child pass formula. Sorry, this is uh, it's supposed to be exiting, like you know. Okay, this is exiting pass formula with the n value because that is what we are expecting it. Then here we are telling child is written no, that is all right. Then the leaving parent formula with the no. This is what the lock of per person. Okay. By this, we are concluding the tutorial on parent and uh, child fast formula. I leave that fast formula code in the description. No, I don't leave it in the description. I put a link to that code in the description. You can download that or you can get the code from that link. Okay. If you have any comment, any suggestion or like, you know, opinion please put it in a comment thank you we'll see you next time with